Hi there, this is Matt with State of Flex here with a review for Weird, the Al Yankovic story. Um, this uh, was one that I got pretty excited for when they announced it, just because the idea of Daniel Radcliffe playing Weird Al Yankovic, somebody who I really like uh, as an artist, um, uh, is just so, uh, so unusual and so weird in and of itself. And then it started gaining tractions in the film festival circuit, so I was like, kind of pumped for this movie. And I think that what this movie does and is trying to accomplish to do is pitch perfect. This movie is so fun, so funny, and a perfect companion piece to like, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Um, much like Weird Al himself, who takes uh, existing music and sprinkles uh, his own lyrics through them, uh, Weird Al takes for his biopic, the biopic formula, and reshape it, reshapes it to sprinkle his life over these dramatic events that never happened largely. And <coughs> until it goes just totally off the rails in a good way for the final uh, couple acts of the film that uh, you, uh, you can't help but have a big smile on your face as he's riffing on other major 80, 80s uh, movies of uh, the time that his story would have taken place. This movie takes you uh, through uh, Weird Al's journey from basically childhood to 1985. Uh, and Radcliffe is so fun in this movie. Uh, Weird Al plays a character in the film himself in a scene that's very obviously riffing on uh, the Mike Myers scenes from Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, that. Uh, uh, it's it's really quite uh, fun, quite clever in how it uh, plays with the biopic formula and then plays with uh, uh, sort of genre fair in general. There's a lot of great comedic actors in uh, surprise cameo roles that are really fun. Jack Black has a great one. Uh, and uh, I really enjoyed his character in that whole scene. The conception of the music and how Michael Jackson plays into the story is really fun and really, really funny. And uh, uh, I also, uh, I just throughout the film, I had a big smile on my face. If you're trying to capture who Weird Al is, even though this movie doesn't tell a single moment's worth of truth, it gets to the truth of who he is as a person. Uh, and that's kind of uh, genius in doing his biopic. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this. This is one of my favorite films of the year. Uh, easy three and a half stars. Uh, I challenge you not to be entertained uh, by this movie. Um, and I also have to give a shout out uh, to Re uh, Evan Rachel Wo uh, Wood as Madonna. She doesn't really look like Madonna. There's a couple angles and stuff like that where she really kind of captures Madonna. But the way she plays Madonna and how her character kind of gets roped into the story is quite, kind of fun and clever and stuff like that. And again, playing with the tropes you get of these biopics. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I had so much fun with Weird, the Ali Yankovic story, and I think you will too. Um, so check that out. It is free streaming on Roku. So all you need is the Roku app, uh, and you can watch it right here, right now. Uh, check out Weird, the Ali Yankovic story. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Peace.